Hey Juan Luis, how are you? I'm okay, Nick. How, how are, are you? you? Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm Hi, good. Juan Luis. I'm good too. Hi Juliana, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, good. Nice. Where nice are you good. at right now? Are you in like some back room of the restaurant? Right now, I'm in the office, you know, the administration, and then we have uh, like uh, um, the studio for Astro, for Michelle, you know, mm -hmm. my wife. She, she has her studio here, the administration, and then we have like a little deposit for the uh, like uh, plates and, you know, all the stuff, you know. You see all that right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So... This is, you know, the back, the back office. Yeah. All right. Cool. Which is uh, um, a block away from Merito. No? Okay. We have every, so everything, not... everything in Barranco. You know, because we have little spaces. No, it's, we don't have a, a big space. So this is, uh, you know, one block away from Merito is, is this place, and we have Merito uh, with, with the two spaces, and you have Clone just around the corner. Then we have uh, the, the, the other area for the production, just, uh, you know, two blocks away. And that's how we, we managed to, uh, to organize uh, ourselves here in the, in the district. Okay, so yeah. this is like the command center. Yeah, yeah. This is like the command center. Yeah, I mean, everything, you know, starts here. We have uh, meetings here for now. Uh, then uh, you know everything, the financial part of the, of the of the now the three you know the three companies, the three concepts that we have: uh, clone, merito, and uh, and demo. Uh, everything it's managed uh, from this place. Okay, so all right, let's let, let's get right kind of into it. So. A lot's happened with uh, Merito lately. I think you've got a, like a ton of recognition in the last yeah. like year. Like as you saw, I wrote this kind of accompanying story for uh, Food and Wine magazine. Yeah. But it, yeah. you know, it it actually seems like I probably had more to do with it than <laughs> than I actually did. I think a lot of people assume that's like that was my doing for some reason. And, like yeah. some people wrote me about that. But, yeah. you know, I, I just happen to be one of a large group of voters for this one particular food and wine list. Okay. So it was kind of this consensus of a lot of different journalists that Merito was basically the best place they ate in the, in the past year. Wow. Do you, that's, that's... do you get surprised that the restaurant keeps getting so much critical praise? Yeah, of course. Every day, you know. Every, you know, we... we, we... <laughs> We didn't plan for you know any of this really. Um, it, it feels it feels great, no? That that uh, people are happy when they come and you know they they live uh, with a good experience and and uh, they like to share it, you know, and, and and say, hey, you know, this is a place that you have to visit. But um, you know, Merito six years, almost six years ago when it started, it, it, it you know the idea was just to. You know, cook. You know, and have a nice restaurant that that it will be, you know, uh, rent. You know, uh, rentable, um, profitable, yeah. and to to do what you like. You know, to, to you know, we, we just wanted to cook what what we felt it was um, right. And and little by little, you know, you start evolving. You 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 mature. You know, I was kind of like thinking about that yesterday. You no. Know? I always say that Merito has evolved and has matured and has grown, but uh, but then you know it's um, then I I always forget about you know myself you know what's my role in in this little world of Merito because I try to always think about him you know or it and because he helps me you know be a little bit less uh, uh, you know. Um, he goes, he go, you know, thinking about me, 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 yeah. me. I think about, yeah. you know, Merito. And, uh, but then I say, hey, you know, I'm, I also have, have grown, you know. I also have evolved and I also have learned many, many things uh, throughout this year about myself and about uh, the business and about, you know, this, uh, this uh, country, uh, about this, um, this district where we live and, you know, many things. And that's, 
projected there, you know, that's uh, exposed in, in, in that space. So it's pretty yeah. cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. no, I, I think it is cool. And like, I, sometimes I am a little surprised by how much attention you get. And it, not yeah. because you don't deserve it. You, I mean, you absolutely do. But there are so many restaurants now, like, playing this game to get on these lists. Yeah. Yet, you know, like, you're not one that's flying in chefs and voters to Lima to eat at the restaurant or anything like that. You have no marketing team, I assume. No. Do you? No, no, no. What no, about no. like in your social media? It's 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 pretty infrequent. <laughs> like, for, it, like sometimes I wonder if like one of the restaurants closed. That's how like yeah, yeah, in, yeah. infrequent it is. <laughs> and you know, and there's and there's not really like this grand statement about what the restaurant means or what it's trying to accomplish. I mean, I like yeah. journalists like me try to you know make my grand statement for the restaurant you know for my yeah. own purposes but i don't see one coming up from you and you know you're not trying to like make peace between peru and venezuela you know it's not yeah no and it's no. not this but you know big so for some reason place. we always we, yeah. we always fall there you know in, in, yeah. but um because i think you know Still, we, that's what you say. We we don't know what's happening. We don't know what it is, and 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 and, 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 and for some reason it, it is there, and and, and you it's palpable, palpable. You know, you can mm -hmm. almost you know you can feel it, but but you don't know how really to explain it. Which is, I think, that's the 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 cool thing about it. No, the, the you know what makes it a, a bit special. No, the, mm -hmm. that it's not really mm -hmm. defined. You know. Yeah, sense, no, I mean, yeah. I, I think that's the kind of, that's where I'm getting at. It's like, that's the honest thing about it. It's like, it's not trying to be something, you know, it's yeah. just trying to be what it is, mm -hmm. be what kind of comes naturally and serve good food and have good service. And, and again and again, like everyone seems to love it. Everyone I've ever sent there has, you know, has, has loved it. And mm -hmm. I don't know, and it, it's just, it's it's just this whole na notion of creating this big thing seems mm. kind of really secondary when <laughs> when your focus is just making a good restaurant. Right, and, and right. I, I think things get turned around so much that too many chefs, too many restaurants forget that. Yeah, but I mean, we're we're I'm really careful, no, not to to lose that sense, no. Because that's what I felt from the from the first day, you know. And then all these things happen, you know. And it's it's easy to get deviated, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's so so we we put a lot of effort in the, in not forgetting, you know, uh, the motive of what why it all started. You know? mm -hmm. and, How uh, does that, that look you know, on you know? this? Like putting. Mm -hmm. Being careful about it and putting a lot of effort in not losing the track. How does that look in a, in a daily basis or, you know, in your ideas when you say, I have to be careful and remind these of that? Can you give us examples of that? Well, you know, it's uh, one the the most um, uh, active now that we have uh, in terms of decision making in 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 and. and, and um, what path to take, you know, because we all have to make decisions in a, in a evolving time. No, it's it's something it, it's it's tend to involve to evolve. So what's gonna take, you know, to to guide it, you know, through that evolution path. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of them is like let's say you know tasting menu, you know. Uh, we don't have a tasting menu yet in Merito. We never had it, and we, it's always a la carte. It's always a oh to share, and that's always been the vibe in in Merito. Even though, oh yes, and, you know, it's a, this is fine dining, or this is really you know meticulous food and tasty, and it's a really uh, there's a lot of technique and all this, which all often that falls into this uh, uh, like. Uh, Package of uh, tasting menu or or, or uh, experience. You know? Now nowadays we we always use this term to to um, 
to describe, you know, what what you have, what your your moment, you know, in in a restaurant. You no, know, we go go call that experience. And then, you know, now we are like, okay, so what do we do? Uh, so we gotta be, I gotta be really careful if if we're gonna take that that path. How are we gonna take it? Not to lose, in order not to lose what we have, or or maybe we we're gonna have to um, uh, assume that that's gonna be a part of the of the of the of the effect that we're gonna have to deal with to in order to evolve and to grow and to to find you know a new path and discover new things. Because mm -hmm. at the end, uh, I think um, you know what really you know, inspires me, and, and I think the, everyone in the restaurant is to, to discover new things, you know, to be to to be surprised, you know, from what we do, and in in that way, we have to uh, sometimes uh, go into the unknown because it's the only way to get surprised. It's uh, you, you find new things, and that's that's what moves us, you know. So, in in the way of uh, you know all all this decision making of not losing that essence and that identity, and that feeling, uh, then it gets all these recognitions because you know we, we people love it, and, and then, then we get um, you know rankings and all this that really kind of you know if you're not really careful, you can get you know, too attached to that. And then you lose the, the other part. So it's a, it's a game, you know, of um, managing that world and managing the, the real world of being, you know, in that restaurant each day, day by day, you know. So that's, yeah. that's you know, it's a little, it's, it's part of the, of what makes uh, the, the life of a restaurant like ours, you know, that, that has a, this type of exposure and has, um, you know, in kind of has a, a voice and, and a message to, to share. Yeah. So the restaurant, like most things I've read about it, Peruvian, Venezuela, and Fusion. Yeah. Is that, is that fair or accurate? Well, you see, it, it, I always get it, you know, it's, that's the easiest way to do it, you know, yeah. because, you know, my roots are, you know, I'm from Venezuela and you know, we're in Peru and, and um, I think for most people, um, it's, um, it's, it's easier that way, you know, but, um, <laughs> but at the end, I think it's because, I think, in, in, let's, let's compare it to, to music, you know. To the music, uh, uh, all the, the genders that exist to describe nowadays all the type of music there is, and uh, you can find millions. No, it's uh, and then we we go to gastronomy and uh, you know the the quantity of different now concepts and wor worlds created in all these restaurants that now exist. You know, they're vast. And, and we don't have enough, you know, um, names to to describe, you know, all these types of restaurants that that exist today. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we, we have to try to reach a little bit of, of that world of music to to grab in, in some some other words to this words to describe the type of cuisines that now exist. No? And um, it, 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 and not fall only in nationalities, no? The uh, words uh, uh, of cultural things, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe now, um, for example, you know, we, we talk about, now, now they ask me, oh, what's the difference between clone, no? And merito, no? And I'm like, oh, wow, no, so, so now how, how do I, uh, no, but it helped me now because now it's easier, I think. Mm -hmm. Because before it was only Merito, and Merito so okay, it's Venezuelan, it's Peruvian, but it's, 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 either, it's, it's neither of them. It's its own thing. And it talks about a product. You know? it, it really focuses on this product that it's uh, really from, uh, has uh, really strong roots in Latin America, in, in the Amazon, in the Andes, in, in the coast, in, in the sea that we share. And, you know, it all comes from there, and that's 
that's merito. And now clone says, okay, I'm now I'm more traditional. I'm more of of recipes. I'm more of reinterpreting culture. There you you find uh, mix of recipes, no mix of flavors, mix of uh, um, uh, uh, of of traditions, you know, mix of cultures. That because you, you find a ceviche which wants to be uh, a vuelve la vida from Venezuela, no. Mm -hmm. uh, you find uh, an arepa from from the Andes of Venezuela, which is made with uh, with uh, not not with corn flour, but with uh, with uh, uh, just uh, trigo, uh, uh, wheat flour, yeah. And then you you, you mix with the you, you fill this arepa with uh, with with uh, uh, pejerrey, no? Which is you mm -hmm. think of pejerrey with this little fish mm -hmm. from from Peru, and 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 you think Peru and Venezuela, no? It's it's, it's a mix. So there you see more of uh, this mixture of cultures, no? of uh, other nationalities or, or other roots from from dif different uh, histories that you know that made that fusion in that country also. No? So <coughs> now I can I can dif you know make a difference. I can explain it a little better. I think of what merito is. And then you find demo, and in demo you find cachapa, you find tequeños, you f and then you find this arepa, which has a egg on top, and the hollandaise, and then you, you know, it's kind of like all this mixture of uh, flavors and, and, and tradition uh, in, a, in, in our way, you know, in, in the way that we like to expose it. So, like, I, I find it really interesting, all of, all, of, all of these kind of different concepts, because you know, right now, over the last, what, 10 years, what is it, like 8 million Venezuelans, something like that? Eight, I mean, it's in the millions, maybe 10 yeah. million at this point, yeah. have left Venezuela. And and in, they're bringing these food ideas with them when they go, and they're setting up new lives in places. And mm -hmm. in all of your concepts are not just just trying to make you know Venezuela in Lima it's mm. it's like they're all going in different directions but they're all very kind of personal directions and just personal yeah. ways of doing things there's not really a way to really replicate any of these mm -hmm. concepts you're not you're not trying to make a chain of demos or meritos or or clones well merito no it Clone, clone, maybe it can be cloned. Maybe yeah. demo, <laughs> demo, demo. It it will be easier, I think. Right. But uh, but I think the the key of it is that you know, it, it it has to, it has to be able to be to adapt to the whichever place it will be you know, destined to you know, yeah. I think that's the key is of everything, to to really. Uh, understand where you are, and um, grab as much in, 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 in grab as much as you can from that place, and uh, incorporate it to what you're doing. Because that has, uh, for me, has a much more um, uh, impact, you know? and it, it makes more sense, and uh, it feels f um, fresh. You know, it feels uh, coherent, mm -hmm. and um, and you also emphasize you know, of the um, the attributes that you that you always are able to to find where in in the place where you are, and that helps you create new things. That's where you know you you can grab that and you know you you you, you can push yourself to to new to find new things and those new things just make you elaborate new stuff. You don't have to, so, so then we don't have to keep doing the same thing. Yeah. Do you find um, important in that awareness of understanding where you are to think about the broader context, let's say in this case, the continent or you know the macro region? Do you find that that is part mm -hmm. of being aware of okay, what, what, how the place and the ecosystem and the people and the cultures around 
determine what I'm doing in that sense too, not only local, let's say, or immediately local. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's understanding uh, where, where you are, you know, as I was telling. And to, it's, it's, it's like what I, when, I, when I went to Cartagena, no? and uh, I found this, this whole new world of things that, that felt really, really close to what I'm, what I, you know, what I'm used to. But it's totally different, no? and to just, in, in, for me to be, let's say we go over there and, and we plant a, a demo or whatever, you know, so, it, it, you know, we have to, we have to grab that and, and, and make it our own also, you know? and uh, we, we don't have to think that, you know, um, that we have to create the same thing that we left behind, you know? We we always you know, try, you know. It's cool to to make that, you know, replicate what you lost in in a way. Let's let's talk about this migration, you know, that we, and it's a you know that nostalgia that 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 also we don't we don't want to lose, and uh, but then you can you can create that nostalgia with new things because you know when some people come you know from Venezuela and come to Merito and they try, try that arepa which is totally different they feel they feel home you know in a way you know and, and it's a feeling so i think uh, it's it's really important to to hold hold on to those feelings and uh, and, and and try to use them in in order to to expand and to to create new paths and new new concepts you know and, and new new ways of expression and, and connection also, no, because hmm. uh, it, it, this only creates um, more. Uh, it, it connects people, no. It, you know, now we find that you know gastronomy and you know the food, it's a, it's a, it's really powerful, no. And and if we can we can find a way to to mix them and and, and to give. Uh, 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 you know, a valor to how do you say in, in English? And value, you know, to 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 what what's really around you, and to not think that everything is uh, you know somewhere else. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's really important. Yeah. This is a very interesting relation that I'm not sure I have I have heard before from chefs or not put in that way like to create new ways of expression as a way of uh, creating new ways of connection that is very powerful because I think you know self-expression as you say it's easy to fall into the ego self-center you know discourse mm -hmm. and narrative yeah and when you see it as innovation is a way of connecting people in new ways that is a total different uh, world mm -hmm. that opens up yeah and i don't know i just yeah. want to highlight that because i think it's very very powerful and i wish you know art and gastronomy and all the things that are happening now are seen more and more in that way well, thanks for that. Makes my day. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> in uh, when no, we were in, no, it's, it's great. Yeah, when we were in uh, Terrapoto a few months ago, like uh, we were kind of talking about this a little bit, where you know, Merita isn't mm -hmm. isn't quite a restaurant, but it's it's almost like a lifestyle. You know, it's yeah. it's finding your own way of doing things in the way that makes sense for you. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I think the example we gave, and it's probably a better one, but you said like, if I want to make coffee, I want to do it in a way that makes sense to me. So mm -hmm. how do you make coffee at demo? Like, <laughs> is, it, was, is there any like unique way of, <laughs> of preparing coffee? In, in, in demo, I mean, we rely really in, uh, in our provider, you know? Uh, this guy's from from here, from Peru, and they, they have their own uh, brand of uh, coffee, which is Millimetrica. 
but then the source they also have the sourcing of it no uh, which is uh, origin coffee lab yeah so we 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 try to you know be really involved you know with uh, with not only ah order the coffee and here it is mm -hmm. and uh, it tastes great and, and that's it um we, we really try to understand where it comes from uh, try to put ourselves in that place or maybe uh, we're going to visit uh, the source someday because we have to take advantage of you know that that connection that we have you know with the with the source which is so important you know because at the end you can um it's, it's, it's something about being close to that that uh, you know you, you you get feed from that and, and it, you know something happens there i don't know call it uh, energetically or or um, you know something that really you know adds to everything no so at, apart from you know making uh, coffee um we have to tell a story you know of uh, who 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 can who first touches that being you know and uh what's what's their story and uh, and how can we uh share it with with the spaces that we that we that we built no uh, and then in terms of flavor you know being more pointing uh, more focus on that and on the final product um, it's it's like me being there every day and I'm, I'm a coffee consumer so so I'm like uh, you know I feel that this is uh, you know it's a little you know less um, acid or a little bit more uh, bitter, and then you know we start, you know, talk with uh, with the with the with the guys, you know, who the, the roasters. Then we go to ch to check the roast the roastery, and they explain to me, you know, all this like really you know, way of roasting the coffee, which is another different world, and and then I, I kind of understand a little bit of that, and and then I process, you know, ideas and. You know, we start sharing. You know? It's about sharing um, everything. It's I think that's the key of it. And and trying to, you know, in 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 that moment, you grab something, and then that helps you create something in the restaurant, or maybe in a pastry, or in a cookie, or you know, everything gets uh, feed from that. But then we we try to 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 implement. Uh, also, uh, what we do in Merito, you know, kind of like what, what happens in Merito feeds everything else, no? Merito is kind of like this, uh, like a tasting area, you know, where everything starts, flavors, products, and then, oh, listen, now we can, we can kind of grab this and use it in clone for this, and, and then, oh, this will work out in, in the coffee. Or this will work out in the chocolate for the croissant, or this can work, and you know it's, it starts to emanate all this information in in in, in new ways of doing more more things, uh, more interesting stuff, and always thinking about the the product, you know, the local product, you know, that that you know I think it has uh, so much power, and you know in those. Two three days that we that we were in Taraboto, which is you know a, a 45 minutes uh, fly away mm -hmm. from here, I I I just saw 30 different new ingredients that I never knew before, so it's uh, it's it's crazy, well the the vast um, quantity of products that we, that we don't know yet, mm -hmm. no it's, uh, it's it's incredible, and we we have it you know really. You know, so close. Have Have you done anything with those? Any of the things you saw, like like those uh, the peanuts, like the Amazonian peanuts, these kind of whitish peanuts, they kind of make in a yeah. We sauce. we we yeah. made a okay. We made a we made a, a tahini. Okay. Tahini mm -hmm. with uh with the with the peanuts that we that we bought that day, and now we, we you you find it in something as simple as a um, uh, uh, hummus. That we have in demo, so instead of uh, using uh, regular tahini made from from sesame, mm -hmm. uh, we made it ourselves with the peanuts from the from Tarapoto. 
Okay. So in, you know, I never knew that you know we were gonna make uh, you know uh, a tahini with uh, fresh peanuts from the Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> and tahini is yeah. Yeah. it's it's used a lot in Venezuela, right? Like uh, near the coast. Like there's a lot of influence. Well, I just yeah. really I I just learned that. Okay. I, I I never I never knew it until I met now uh, Jaime when uh -huh. I went to Colombia. And then he really he exposed it to me. He he, he taught me a lot about. Uh, you know what what went on in that area, you know, in that in that territory, uh, the influence from from you know from the uh, from uh, the Middle Ar East, Arabic, yeah. no, mm -hmm. the Middle East, yeah, and um, it's really interesting because I grew I grew up going to to uh, Lebanese uh, restaurants in, in in Caracas, and we had a, a, a big uh, community of uh, from the Lebanon, so. Yeah, it's a flavor that that I grew up with, so I, I really enjoy it. And to be able to to uh, get to those f uh, flavor profiles with a, a product so different, you know, well, it's a it's a dry, you know, uh, 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 kind of like a nut, you mm -hmm. know, but uh, that this is this peanut that it's fresh and it's from the Amazon. And it's, it's it's so cool, you know, to to be able to do that. And uh, and then you find it in this demo that that has cachapas and has all this stuff. And then we have a um, uh, chocolate from 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 the Amazon also. And and then you have find this uh, this peanut. And, and you know, it's um, it makes sense, no? Do you mm -hmm. find yourself pulling more from any particular region of Peru? Like uh, at Marito? Like, is it from the Andes, the coast, um, the Amazon? I think, you know, uh, flavor profile, I, I enjoy from the north, no? Okay. The, uh, from from the, the north uh, uh, cuisine. But like the north coast? You know, uh, you know like Chiclayo, yeah, okay. all these all, all this, uh, flavors from... i never been to Chiclayo, but, okay. uh, but I, you know, I go to... I, I've been to La Picanteria, <laughs> to Fiesta, and those yeah, are Chiclayo counts, flavors, and then... And then I kind of like, you know, grab what I can, you know, I understand that. But then we have Peruvian cooks, you know, with us that they, they have that information. They, 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 you know, they know how, how to get to those flavors. And then I'm like, okay, we uh, have uh, Jans, which is our, our cook from, from, Neb, from Clone and he's from the, from the Amazon. No? He's from this region in, uh, in the Amazon. And I'm like, okay, so, what can Jens uh, give give to us? You know, what? Let, first of all, let let him show. You know, be himself and be able to express himself, which is really important for everyone. And then we find, okay, so you know, we understand the mesquinha. He understands this, and and we grab that and we give it a twist, and we always try to. To make something, you know, unique with that, you know. But we try to grab flavors, techniques that that they use, the the products, and then we find we find to uh, Arequipa, you know, and we try to make a rocoto relleno. We want to make a, a ramen with rocoto relleno, and, and then uh, we know that you know Juan, uh, the other chef, um, knows how to make those uh, those are. Um, uh, wheat flour arepas that he grew up with uh, his grandmother and they're kind of sweet and I'm like okay that makes sense with let's make the 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 pejerrey, uh, which is a uh, you know sandwich con pejerrey, so it makes sense and uh, we try to grab from everywhere really you know everywhere we can and and um, I've been to Arequipa twice so I have some 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 flavors there that I really love and the use of the 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 the, the prawns and but then you try to, sometimes you try to you reach those flavors with the products that you find here and you, you, you can't because the, 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 the garlic tastes different and the tomato tastes mm -hmm. different and then, okay, let's try to get those tomatoes from, from Arequipa and to see if we can get to those, uh, to those, um, to those flavors. Then we try to, we call, we call Aldo, no, Aldito. <laughs> From Patarasco. Aldo Uranga. 
and now he he he's helping us um, uh, get some ingredients from the from Tarapoto, and then we you know the, the, before we open Merito, I really enjoy those flavors that I talked to you about the 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 ones from 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 La Picanteria and from Fiesta, no the ají amarillo mm -hmm. sauce and really punchy flavors, no, and uh, and for by you know. By luck, uh, there were two uh, girls that, who were cooks from uh, former cooks from Fiesta, and uh, in, and I was able to to you know to ask them to to teach us um, you know, all these ba ba basis of the flavors that they, they use. So we opening Merito, we we kind of understood these flavors. We didn't have to fly to to Chiclayo, but you know they they, they taught us. Chiclayo and, came uh, to you. We, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's the way, you know. And and I think we still have to, uh, you know, get to know many more places because we only know, you know, a small amount. I have a question about that that curation of products, local products, because as you are aware of not losing the track of the you know genuine spirit of what you and your team do um i think there is a risk of exoticizing local products just you know for the sake of they are local and and the value that we are going giving to locality and communities making the effort to grow those products so i think as you know we are more critical now about, you know, international things are not good just for the sake of being international and, you know, new. Newness is not good just for the sake of being new. I don't think local mm -hmm. is good or right just for the sake of being local, mm -hmm. right? How, no. I mean, it, sure, this is not a, see, this is a process because one thing is, that it has cultural value, and then the other is that it has like tasting value or you know gastronomic value. And maybe these two things are the same. I don't know. Um, but how do you go about that? And how are you? How do you train this filter of is this really good? And do I really want to use it, or is it just because these communities are nice and making a good effort, and I get along and I connect and I sympathize? Right. Right. Um, well, it's it's all of those things that you mentioned, but um, but also it's also it's a way of of, of connecting to the place, no? It's, yeah. uh, it's 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 a way of uh, you know rooting, you know where where you are. Hey, that's that's for Merito, that's for for demo, and that's for clone. It doesn't have to be for everyone, really. You know, depending of what the concept is, no? Yeah. But uh, but our our essence comes from those products no our interest come from discovering new new things no and, um, and that's what mot motivated us no to to be able to find new new things that uh, that can teach us you know that can show us um, uh, new new things you know and and to show and, and, and maybe to show us new places because in order to get to those products you go to the place and then you find uh, um, you know a community that that it was it's so interesting mm -hmm. that that has some so many things to 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 show you if uh, they feel also comfortable with the idea of uh, of, of sharing it you know because yeah uh, of the because of the because they value also what what you're doing, and uh, and then we start this um, mutual thing of of, of appreciating what uh, we are all doing, no? From from you know from what they are, because right now also you know this um, the people that that work with Jaime in in, in Cartagena you know, that, that that find this in the back backyard you mm -hmm. know and they were you know everything was going to waste and they were like okay so what do we do with this and then you know this, the restaurants start using it because oh this is really cool i mean look at this thing that tastes kind of like peppery and uh, we can use it in the cocktail and 
ah, it's it's amazing, no? To, to that 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 has a lot of power, you know, to to be able to to reach to the to these new things that that um, are, are there, you know, and, and they're little treasures, you no? Know? Yeah. But but you know that sometimes they're not at the at the first um, contact with these products. Some of them are not easy to to use really, because they're so new, and the flavor profiles and the textures and everything it's. Uh, it's kind of like wow. So what? How do we work with this? No, and um, but that's also the cool thing because it motivates you to to push yourself to to create. You know, to to be able to to give more value to something that it, it you know it, it, it wasn't value wasn't given. So. You know what's valuable, no caviar and foie gras and all this, all this uh, fancy stuff, and um, that we always, you know, find uh, saw as the the pinnacle of what's uh, you know su supposed to be the the mo most elite products. But then, w really, what, what what are we talking about? You no, know? what's well, who puts the value on what? Yeah. You know? So. You find all this stuff that that we don't really know how how valuable it is. No, this this bees that create this uh, honey that it's uh, kind of like um, really uh, acid and yeah. they don't have like, this. Uh, wow, I mean, this is amazing yeah, stuff. Stingless no? bees. It, yeah, it'd be it's so crazy. nice. Yeah, like my bees just sting me all the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, 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 I hear what both of you are saying. I, I think it's a long yeah. pathway between the awareness of what we have around us to the point to where something's where either it's the environment or a culture or the product itself is is getting exploited. You know, the, to the mm. point to where it's to where using the product is more destructive than creating right. the aware yeah. awareness around it. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. I mean, it's like, there's, there's a long path between these Amazonian peanuts compared with like acai or quinoa to where, you know, huge market shifts can totally change and disrupt, you know, ancestral traditions yeah. and, and things like that and yeah and, and then, like you said like a lot of these things are just growing in someone's backyard and most people have just have forgotten what to do with them and we really don't know <laughs> what to do with them you know it's like in, in a modern right. life you know that's just like yeah. They've, yeah. they've been kind of just x'd out of of you know society i guess yeah that's uh but it's, it's 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 great, you know. As as long as it's controlled, also, no, as you say, uh, you know, because then we oh, like, oh great, you know, we discover this new stuff and and ah oh, no, for some reason someone grabbed it and saw a huge potential and boom, no, yeah, it, yeah, it, it broke this you know, and it changed everything for that product instead of you know keeping it, you know, okay. focus on maybe what what what. We were talking about before that you asked me, you know, yeah. how do you maintain the focus? And you know, it's just it's the same, same. Yeah, you yeah. keep it, same, keep it, same in idea. And, and discover yeah. is a bad word, you know, as as a lot yeah. of people always point out. Yeah. It's like nothing is ever discovered. Somebody's already been using whatever it is. Exactly. It's just yeah. you know bringing it back into use in a way that you know makes sense. I yeah. guess I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, I have a question about this? Yeah. Um, this balance that I think is motivating for you to try to, to you know, just keep or or it's inspiring between the simple and the complex. And I, I have heard you talking about that, like how aesthetically, and in everything you do, there is always uh, some play playing around that, right? Like. Keep it simple, but also 
in the process of innovating, making it complex in different ways. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I would love to hear about that. Uh, in, in, you mean in what we create, you know, the, yeah, the final product? Yeah, dishes, you know, uh, uh, visuals, you know? the restaurant, all the all the work okay. you do with design. Yeah. It's at, at the same time, it's, it's this, right? It's mm -hmm. this peaceful, simple, genuine look, but mm -hmm. obviously, there is so much complexity in it. Yeah, yeah. No, there, there's a lot of thought behind it. It's, uh, it's, uh, we, we think about everything. No? We, we always try, we always question mm -hmm. ourselves to how can we make something a little better or, or more coherent or more connected to, to everything. And, and uh, yes, it's a, it's a day, daily basis, mm -hmm. uh, the process for us no? to, to, to constantly feel everything and, and to see how 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 you know it makes us feel first no because we we think of really about ourselves first you know we we enjoy uh, we live in this place you know we it's a, it's our you know every day we are here and if we are not we don't feel well where we are but it's it's, it's kind of difficult no to to go in and to kind of like uh, throw yourself to to this life you know that that is uh, you know from time to time it, it can consume you know so thinking about that it's um we also try to to be original to to be uh, to to try to ex express ourselves in in in, uh, in in a different way you know also we try to find our own path and that we always try to have that really, really uh, alive, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not always easy because it's, we always, you know, we make mistakes and you have to be able to, to, to confront and to be able to assume that you're gonna make mistakes or, or something's gonna, not gonna go totally right at the first time uh, or it's not gonna taste so great or, or that, you know, base or that uh, pottery that you designed with, uh, with uh, with the artisan, at the end you put it there, and, and, and it kind of like you know it didn't quite fit, you know, didn't quite, you know, made you feel what you thought that it was going to make you feel. So, visually in the plate, uh, you know, I come from 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 many uh, uh, kitchens that you know in each kitchen, the visual aspect you know was really you know you you, you kind of like live it, and, and it's it, it's it's in you, you know so in each kitchen i have uh, I, I had to learn how to plate you know in the way that in that place played it you know to to make their own style but then in merito we try to find our own way so sometimes when we played something and we're like oh man this kind of looks too similar to that which is great you know it's beautiful and it, and, it's in, and it will work perfectly, but then we were like, okay, so how, did, how does that feel here? No? How does that feel in that table around that adobe wall in, in, in with, with, this, with this person serving it? And, you know, everything has to... Coherence, yeah. We question it. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really important for us to, to be able to always achieve that, that impact no? of... of setting that that sets you in that space in that moment in the in the, in that in that table in in the street you know it has to talk about where we are you know in barranco it's a lot of contrast you know you, you if you're walking around barranco and it's the hunk of uh, the the horn the, the the of the bus and the taxi and the motorcycle and you know it's chaos and then you enter this little world and it's like wow no what's going on in here no? and then you find all these products which a lot of color and it's 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 cool you know it's um, you know that that, that thing it's it's, uh, it's something that you know makes us uh, feel really special no and i think that's what we thrive for yeah so you, you, you mentioned the kind of visuals and aesthetics, and as well an artist you mentioned to me when we were in uh, Terrapoto. Yeah. Shero Anawe Hakujiri. 
Hijue? Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, uh, Shero Nawi, I think, Shero. Yeah, Shero. I mean, it's easier to just call him Shero. Okay. When, when we talk to him, he's like, no, just call me Shero. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he, yeah. so he's from like the Alto Orinoco, Venezuela and Amazon. Yeah. But his, his yeah. like, I, since you mentioned to me, it's like I started following him on, on Instagram and uh, like just like looking at his work and it's, it's really beautiful and uh but it, like it, it, I, I see the influence in in your plating and things, and mm -hmm. how it, how it comes out. And it's like all yeah. this kind of these geometric shapes and patterns and bold colors, right. you know, inspired by by nature. And in like mm -hmm. how I don't know how how did he kind of make his way into your food? And like you, you actually know him, and do you you talk to him? Do you ever show him we, dishes? We we, we talked on the phone no we talked on the phone once because we we tried to do a collaboration with them mm -hmm. uh, for him to to like kind of paint th um, stuff for mm -hmm. us you know that we find amazing that, that you know his art is it's really something you know really special yeah. but you know the first connection that i had with him was uh, before opening merito in the team of you know the design team was asked me to send them images and information of what I felt that, you know, what really caught my attention and what I, I really, you know, liked. Focusing on the Amazon, because they, they felt that, you know, Merito had, a, um, had an identity from the Amazon because the Arepa is from the Amazon and all this, you know, kind of, kind of stuff that they, they saw, you know, they felt that that was the path to go. So, you know, I grabbed it and I started looking and I didn't want to fall into the trivial side of, of the Amazon. I wanted to find something mm -hmm. else. Um, and then I saw uh, um, Arte Rupestre, how do you say in English? Uh, yeah, cave paintings. From, the, from cave paintings yeah. and rock, rock kind of the things that you find. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, that really, you know, that, that's something that really I, I really enjoy, you know all these things that you know n nobody really knows w what they are uh, and they've been there for years and who knows who painted them and uh and i saw his art and he looked kind of like that and and he's from you know he's, he he was born in that jungle no and uh and and he has his own way of uh you know re interpreting yeah. what he f he lived in, in that jungle, no, and how what he grew up with, and, and his his own style. So, yeah, it's uh, it's for me it's really inspiring, no, to to find that, and I, I kind of like grab you know all those visuals, and and then you know for in a way that it's exposed in in, in in the food, you know, in the plate, and also in a in a maybe maybe in a in a napkin that you know has a little detail there that that it's grabbed from there, so, yeah, the inf everything's there, you know, in nature, in art, in, the, um, in uh, other people's art, and in other people's plating, that you find something interesting there, and then you try to, you know, reinterpret it in, a, in, a, in, in your own way. You know, the, the other, the, the tostadas, you know, that, that now that you see kind of like shading, they came from another artist. Uh, I forget the name now. That you know, he paints all these uh, uh, paintings with uh, degrading uh, uh, colors. And then it was cool because then they saw a, a documental about Basquiat. Mm -hmm. you no, know? the, the the guy, the, you know, the guy from in New yeah. York. You no, know? um, and and he was kind of explaining his art, and he uses a lot of symbols. From you know that it, it, and that came from a book, mm -hmm. that you know that that each symbol has a meaning. So in his paintings, he kind of like uses all these uh, uh, symbols to you know ex, you know express himself. So that's really interesting. So I grabbed that idea and I tried to implement it in in, in the gastronomy in in a way to play it or to create a new space and. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Of thing. So. So before you opened Marito, was was Central the last place you worked at before opening Marito? Yeah. Yeah. 2016. And how long were you there? 
at Central? Two years. Okay, two years. I, yeah. I always think it was like five or six years, <laughs> even. Maybe it was just yeah. because I was around a lot then and I saw you a lot then, but yeah, yeah. it was just two yeah. years. But when you opened Marito, did you feel like you, you, because Central was already getting a ton of attention then, did you feel like you, you, you sh were supposed to open like a little Central or something like that? No. no. Not at all. Uh, I wanted to do something way different than what it is today. I wanted to open, you know, a, a hipster arepera. No? <laughs> that was the idea for me. That was my a hipster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, my my uh, my consultants, uh, they were like, okay, Juan, you know, it's great in your idea, and you know, yeah, yeah. But but really, really, you know, do you do you see yourself doing that now? Yeah. Or you know. The, or do you find yourself because you know everything that you show us you know your Instagram your everything you know tends to go and you know this way and I was like okay 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 let's do it but but it wasn't really you know never tent um, with the idea of um, of having a, a gastronomic uh, restaurant really you know I wanted to make a, a restaurant uh, a really casual restaurant which you can still feel yeah. it in a way you know uh, with the, the, of the a la carte menu and all the sharing and the things that you know now we, we, we yeah we're falling into more you know depth into the of, of the of the elaborations of, of the of the dishes no so in that way that makes it more mature and you know it, it used there but it, it wasn't the idea already no so I, I guess the question is like how how did that depth develop like I mean you, you started with something and it, it's really not that different than it was I don't think when it when it started mm -hmm. but you started with something that was intended to be pretty mm -hmm. casual and but still creative like wh wh where does the depth come from just from just from doing the work and it just like bit by bit it well the, yeah the well, the first the first really um moment that i had the, of of me realizing that i had to do a different type of uh cooking let's say you know because mm -hmm. okay, i'm i'm a cook first of all you know that's 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 what i that's what i do what where where i had to really confront my re, my reality was when the the place you know the actual uh, space of merito was being created and uh and the wood is coming together and and the f you know now you start feeling the space and it, it felt really oh wow this is this is nice mm -hmm. no? this is uh this is um this is more than what i really <laughs> thought because the the architects you know because you work with other artists no at the end you know everyone focuses on the chef but you know the chef needs all these other other artists around you know artisans and everything that you know you know come together and you know they they want to make the the plates and the, and the silverware and everything so when the architects you know they didn't I didn't quite understand it at, the, at that moment how things you know happened really uh, of creating an actual space you know designing and everything but then when it starts to come together I'm like wow this is this is really nice and I cannot make the food you know here that I thought that I was gonna you know make <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think uh, you know I have to push push myself a little you know deviate myself to you know where i thought i was going to go because in this space um, demands another type of cooking the space really was the one who showed me what what i had to do really in a way i mean this I had to, the space is very yeah. it's it's kind of minimalist right like i mean it's lots of wood yeah. and then the adobe yeah. the do adobe was there right it's just natural from yeah. the building yeah we we exposed it everything yeah we, it was it was all you know covered and and the, the main reason that i that i wanted to that i wanted that space was because of the adobe walls 
and the size of it. You know, I, I you know being my first restaurant, I felt that smaller was going to be easier. You know, so I didn't want to go bigger, and I felt that you know that was the right place. You know? But smaller and reasonable rent as well. I mean, like you weren't like right yeah. in the middle of Barranco, kind of like a side street. You weren't looking for like yeah. high profile Miraflores or yeah. something. No, I always yeah. wanted to be in Barranco. I felt that, you know, the, the, the vibe here uh, really, uh, it was going to be able to to connect with, uh, with our identity, you know? And while we were going to be able to connect with, you know, either, either, both ways, no? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of art here, music, a lot of uh, self-expression, you know, and, and, and it's freedom. So, in a way, Merito needs that, you know. It's, it's, it fits from that. Uh, I fit from that. It made, it made total sense to be here. I always wanted to be here. And I, I, I enjoyed places that have a history, you know, that, that, that feel that they've been through a lot, you know, they, that they have something a history to, to, to share and uh, you know that also because it, 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 I, I find it you know really important to be able to connect with the food because food you know it's connected to that earth to that adobe to everything so yeah it's we're pretty happy and people ask us if we are we're gonna move to a bigger place and we're like eh, no no we, we're staying we're staying here so we were able to grab the other space, and now we're working uh, on uh, maybe uh, adjusting this new s this uh, space, and now it's a uh, production area to maybe an area where we can uh, start to share ideas and to test more stuff, you know, and, uh, more uh, uh, products that, 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 because now we don't have a space, it's really small, so yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, always, we're always on the, on the run, you know. So I think after six years, we, we, can, we can now uh, give, uh, prioritize that, that space to, to give it a, a, um, a moment to, to be able to process ideas in a, in a slower pace. Okay. Um. Julie, do you have any other questions? No, this is, I mean, no, just to say that this <laughs> sounds, this is, sounds very wise in a very humble way to me, this project, and it's uh, both exciting and uh, soothing at the same time. That's the feeling I get from all these, and the, the times that I have mm -hmm. uh, spoken with Juan Luis, I always get this, this uh, sense of the project, and the energy of the project. So, I don't know, maybe just to say that as overused as words in you know, our world now are like connection, being present, intuition, they are so overused and sometimes lacking meaning. I think if there is a context in which they have sense, they make sense, is in what Juan Luis is telling us. So I'm, I'm just happy about that. I think it's, it's a good example of uh, being present in all the ways in which Juan Luis has told us and being intuitive and in tune with a place and people. So connection, I, I, I feel that the word makes sense here and I'm, I'm just happy about it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. So nice to hear that. No, really. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, man. Um, yeah. I mean, I could ask, I could talk to you all day about all of these <laughs> things, but, uh, yeah, me yeah. too, man. You know, it's, 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 it, and before, before it was uh, more difficult for me because uh, I, I had to, you know, that's one thing that, that I have to be really thankful, uh, for, uh to Merito, no, that really, uh, made me push myself and to, to get out of my shelf, you know, uh, because the the first that's where the name comes from no really you know the merito really means uh confronting your fears no in uh, you know in life i think that's what we come to we really come to learn about about ourselves and to 
to see, you know, to push ourselves to to um, confront everything that really is difficult for you, you know, in life. So for me, you know, the first thing was cooking in that tape, in that kitchen table in front of, mm -hmm. you know, you guys, and to start sharing and, and to connect with you because I was really comfortable in my own little world mm -hmm. and secure in my kitchen and don't bother me, man, you know? So in a way, I, you know, I'm really thankful that now I'm, I'm, I have, you know, uh, a way of uh, being able to communicate, you know, really what I feel because I, I put that in practice thanks to assume, you know, confronting that fear, yeah. All right. I think that's a perfect place to end. Yeah. Gracias, Juan Luis. Just gracias. Gracias, Julie. Oh, thank thanks you. Thanks to you, you. <laughs> two of you. It's great. Okay. All right, man. See you in, in Lima sometime soon. Thank cool, you. Man. Bye. All right. Gracias. Chao. Gracias. Chao, Julian. See you. See you. Bye-bye.